Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. The remaining of this month, the beginning of April. Okay. Your first card here, Leo, is the Moon card. The Four of Cups, the Star card. Ooh, the Magician. The Five of Pentacles, the Strength card. The Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Lover's card. Okay. All right. All right, Leo. So your current situation, I see you guys in regards to love. There is a lot of uncertainty currently that you're experiencing or that you're feeling at the present time. For some of you guys, it could be almost like feeling a bit overwhelmed, feeling a lot of different emotions. I see your energy, very scattered energy. Now, the obstacle here is the Four of Cups. So I feel that you guys are perhaps a bit complacent, feeling a bit bored, feeling like there's no exciting things going on in your love life. Now, the past and passing, you do have the Star card. So this is signifying to me... Uh, you may be dealing with an Aries, sorry, with an Aquarius. You may be dealing with the Gemini, as I do have the Lovers. For some of you guys, you may also be dealing with an Aries. I do have the Magician card here. Um, so what they're saying here is that in the past, it was almost as if things were starting to align. Things were starting to move forward in a very hopeful way. Um, somewhere along the lines... I feel that you guys are currently experiencing or feeling like there is a bit of restriction. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with financial difficulties that kind of has has thrown, you know, romance out the window. Um, I do see someone, it could be you, Leo, or it could be your partner uh, that is currently experiencing, like I said, difficulties in regards to financial issues. Uh, for some, it could be like the partner recently got laid off. Or, or this could be you, Leo, as well, that you recently got laid off. And it's almost like you guys are bickering or fighting and it has more to do because both of you guys are like extremely stressed and you don't know how to release that energy. Um, my advice on a personal level here, if you guys are going through financial difficulties, uh, the best form to connect is through sex. And I'm going to be completely straightforward and honest. I see a lot of major stress issues. And I feel that you guys are taking it out on each other. With the strength card. <coughs> excuse me. This is your card, Leo. But what they're saying here is that there is a, a, a need to release that tension or that energy. Uh, and there's lack of passion in this relationship at the present. So again, it could be that. For others of you, it could be that you're stressed because there's not much emotional connection or sexual connection and your mind is starting to wander. You're starting to think what's really going on. So again, I feel that both of you guys are being very restrictive with each other at this present time and it could be because of financial issues. It could be because of health issues. Um, nonetheless, what they're saying is that this can all be alleviated or balanced through releasing that that energy. Um, and what they're saying is for some of you guys, it could be lack of sex. So again, just putting it out there. Um, now your advice card here is the Ace of Wands. Keep hope, Leo, as there is promise for the future. There is new beginnings that are coming towards you with the Ace of Wands. What they're telling you is try the best you can not to stress or if your partner is the one that's currently dealing with this, try to be very positive around them. Encourage them. What they're saying is that there's new beginnings coming. And for some, it could be uh, some type of offering. So again, in regards to finances, if your finances are currently being, you know, tested, uh, what they're saying is be hopeful uh, if your partner is the one that's dealing with this, try to be more positive around them and, you know, inspire them push them now is the time for them to start putting um energy in not being negative but more so having to do with uh 
inspiration? What is it that they're wanting to do? Are they now is the time if they're currently not working now is the time to really break it down what it is that they're looking for, what type of job they're looking for, what type of pay, etc. And really put themselves out there because with the Ace of Wands, this is telling me that it's a new beginning. But for some, it could be an offering, like an actual offer uh, of work and finance that is going to trickle your finances and help you. Uh, so again, there is stability coming through for you guys. So again, my advice, don't stress. Uh, take these changes the way they're happening. And trust me, everyone's dealing with it uh, in different ways. Uh, what they're saying is that you will find the balance within the relationship. You will come to better terms or better understanding of one another. With the Magician card, you have all the tools or all the ingredients at your disposal. Uh, if, in fact, you're holding out because perhaps there was a misunderstanding or some type of um, doubt, uh, what they're telling you here is, again, you have the power to you have the power to fix this. Um, sometimes, especially when it comes to relationships, we kind of, if you keep count of how many times someone upsets you or how you hold grudges, like, oh, I'm going to remember you did that and I'm going to hold out on sex or whatever to teach them a lesson, what you're doing is you're creating barriers. And sometimes people get to the point of getting tired of having to overcome barriers uh, to get closer to you. So what they're saying is there's a need to be more open here, whether it's direct communication or whether it's like uh, emotional being open or vulnerable and telling them this is what's bothering me or this is what's affecting me, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you do have here the three of pentacles. So there is promise. There is an offer coming through. Uh, you're going to be more inspired with the lover's card coming together or making a decision uh, a decision that could be made as a family, as a whole, or as a dy dynamic. Um, so again, if you guys are currently dealing with financial difficulties, know that things will progress or will get better. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently single, uh, this could just signify feel feeling like you're just very unimpressed with everyone. No one's really catching your attention, but what they're saying is that it's okay to feel that way sometimes. It just means that your criteria or your self-worth, um, how you value yourself is high, you know, and it's okay to be confident. It's okay to know exactly what it is that you want and to not settle for anything less. And what they're saying is that it's not, it has nothing to do with you, Leo. It has more to do with the people around you or the options that you currently have, but that will quickly change as you do have your card uh, as well as the Ace of Wands. So again, new love, new inspiration, new spark of passion uh, that is going to turn into something more long-term. And this is a person that is accomplished. This is a person that is stable. So it could be that they are financially stable. It could be that they've been single for quite a while now. For some, it could be three years. For others, it could be three months um, where they started to open up or they're starting to put themselves out there in regards to love and romance. And finally, the lover's card, uh, being able to solidify some type of unionship and turn it into something more progressive or something more stable. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.